after connecting all the ESCs, um, the CC3D program wasn't allowing the motors to spin. So after further investigation, testing out whether it's the ESCs or actually the motors, um, as you can see, I've got a setup here. I've just used the ESC to power my little servo tester. It's a brand new ESC that I bought from here. Um, and as you can see, as I turn it up, just a little bit. So I think there's something wrong with the motor because it doesn't move at all with these ESCs. It just jitters a bit and half spins. Um, I mean, the bearing seems okay. I can't tell if it's actually the magnets causing something, but. Okay, to eliminate <clears throat> any doubt over that particular engine uh, motor, um, I've got a brand new one that I bought, luckily one as a spare. Um, <laughs> if it's part of the same faulty batch, I won't know. I've got to dig out another motor that I've got. But let's test it with this brand new ESC and this motor to see if, uh, if the problem isn't something else let's see so new motor just temporarily soldered doesn't seem to have a problem esc works this motor works which are brand new that means that motor is knackered which I hope these ones aren't either because it looks that way I'm gonna be mounting this motor to all four ESC's as well to see if there's any problems with these and we'll go from there it's a shame really okay as you can see we're using the same brand new ESC same brand new motor which we've identified that work now we're identifying which ESC's on here are working because there's something definitely wrong and, and it looks like that ESC is dead now we're just testing ESC number two on the board as you can see all the solders are done nicely this one we know is dead this one, let's see what will happen. Okay, so you can see the power board powers up. I've got our connection here to the motor and there was no start up tone. And we've got no response. Okay, so I've removed the two other ESCs that we identified that weren't working. Now let's test the other one. I've got it plugged in. All right, well, yeah, <laughs> that works. Skipping around, I didn't mount it. Okay, so we know the motor works and this particular ESC works. Now it's time to test the last one and then move on to all the motors and double check those again. Okay, so we moved on to the last ESC, the motor we know that works, and let's connect it. Okay, well we've got tone, which is a good sign. getting this jumping
and we know that motor works so all right now what we'll do we'll use the brand new ESC that we know that works and test all the motors okay as we identified this motor isn't working we will test again just to be on the safe side um, we identified this ESC is working the other one that wasn't that was jittering I removed which you can see is here now I've tested the working ESC on the board to this motor I'm going to test this ESC with all the motors and then I'm going to test it with the brand new one which we tested our brand new motor with just to eliminate any anomalies let's go okay we have the movement in the motor positive <laughs> Okay, as you can see, it's cooking. For some reason, she started to cook just after I displayed that. You can see puff of the magic smoke, as they say. Okay, we've connected it to this particular motor now. We're all connected. Let's power up. Dunder. seems fine okay we've connected to this motor same ESC and now okay we've got start up tone Okay, we've got this connected to testing this particular motor now. And we're not getting any response. 